So, um, so, so honoring the Buddha is honoring what is most uh, precious, most beautiful, most wise, and um, and and for the benefit of uh, my welfare, my well-being, and and the well-being of others. Uh, that's possible for me as a, as a human being in this lifetime. And taking refuge, I go to the Buddha for refuge, I go to the Dhamma for refuge, I go to the Sangha for refuge. Um, so going to the Buddha, that, that um, uh, model of the awakened one, the one who dedicated himself to awakening but it's not a dualistic kind of going to the Buddha as a, only as a historical um, being, but to that capacity, as the Buddha said so many times, you know, if you could not realize what I have realized, I would not, I would not teach you this Dharma, this Dhamma, but you can realize what I have realized. And so I'm, I'm going for refuge in that that dimension of awakeness, awareness, which is always present with me uh, and which can always be there to, to, be, to, to be attentive, to, to receive and to be uh, in non-reactivity in relationship with what's happening. So I go to that dimension of being that essential dimension of being for refuge. To the Dhamma, I go for refuge. To the teachings of the Buddha. And how, have, how is the Dhamma present in my being? How is it unfolding? So it's not the Dhamma just as a teaching, but how am I practicing it? How am I applying it to in this moment, in each moment of experience? And to the Sangha, I go for refuge. So the Sangha is the embodiment of the Dhamma and um, it's a community. It's, it's, it's my embodiment in this body and also in, in the community of, uh, of those who are seeking to embody the Buddha and the Dhamma. And so, so, it, so it, going for refuge is not something that I just do you know, once a day, but it's something that I do again and again and again. And in, it's in that spirit that I, um, uh, we go for, we chant these refuges together. And then, um, and then as we take the, the five precepts, um, these are stated in the, uh, in the um, language of what I will refrain from doing harmful actions, so I that I will ref, that I'm I'm promising myself and and all of life that I I, I seriously uh, intend to practice uh, these these precepts of uh, refraining from causing harm in these ways, and um, knowing that they're a practice that that. Inevitably, we do cause harm just by breathing, by walking on the earth. Um, we do, we can't live without in some way taking. Um, and, uh, and, and that is part of life. So it's not, uh, it, it's not about shame and blame, but it's about um, renewing and developing and, and building on and living from this aspiration not to cause harm. And also what's not stated explicitly, but is implied is to, to do what is good, not destroying living beings, but supporting life, not taking that which is not freely offered and rather being generous, as generous as we can. Um, using our sexuality in a way that's skillful, uh, not, not lying um, or gossiping or causing harm with our speech, but also speaking kindly and supportively, supporting others 
uh, to, to respond in their lives with wisdom and kindness, um, not to uh, take intoxicants which cause heedlessness, but to, um, to be wise and discerning in how we, uh, what we take in with the body and the mind um, in our lives. So, um, and then this, this aspiration, may this training in peaceful conduct help bring about knowledge of the path and the fruits of liberation. I think that's such a beautiful statement. Um, and it, it really nourishes my heart every time I, I say it. So, so that's um, a little introduction to, to these, uh, these refuges and precepts. So, so having said that, um, I'm going to offer them in chanting and please either read along or chant with me. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa. Namo tasa bhagavato arahato samma sambuddhasa. Udang sarnang gachami. Damang sarnang gachami. Sangam sarnang gachami. Tutiampi budang sarnang gachami. Tutiampi damang sarnang Gachami Duti Ampi Sangam Sarnang Gacha Tati Ampi Budang Sarnang Gachami Tati Ampi Damang Sarnang Gachami Tati ampi sangam sarnang gachami. Panati pata vera mani sika padam samadiyami. Adina dana vera mani sika padam samadiyami. Kame su mitatara vera mani sika padam. Samadhyami. Musa wada wera mani sika padam samadhyami. Sura maraya maja pamadatana. Vera mani sika padam samadhyami. Idam nisila magafala nyanasa pachayo ho tu. Sadhu, sadhu. Sadhu Anumodami
So again, uh, let's, let's take a moment to welcome one another. Um, taking the time to see the faces of these uh, fellow travelers, fellow Sangha members on the screen. Nice to see folks that I haven't seen for a while. Um, and uh, also to see new friends. And um, uh, yeah, welcoming, let's welcome ourselves to our practice, like to this seat, to this place of practice, uh, welcoming our whole being, um, who we are, whatever our ethnic, ex ethnic roots, race, gender expression, sexual orientation, language, religious background, personal stories, um, whatever our uh, financial status, our, our uh, state of health, ability, disability, um, hidden disabilities, as well as visible, um, all of the ways that we are as human beings fully welcomed within ourselves. And, and, and how does that feel uh, to, to say, you know, I welcome you. I'm here in my wholeness. And is there a part of my heart which contracts a little bit around some part? And if that, if that is so, whether it's, you know, has to do with my body or my, my history or my, my root, my roots, um, can I, can I also bring compassion to that, that contraction of the heart and say, yes, okay, there's, there's maybe there's some some pain, maybe there's some trauma around that. And that too is welcome. All of that, all of that is welcome. I'm here in my fullness and, and welcomed in this midst, in this circle of practice. I want to express my deep gratitude to uh, the, all the teachers, um, Pierre Vincent, who's here, and, uh, and Gail Horner, and Coral, and Kay, and, and, um, and Rosmina, and um, uh, I don't know if I'm missing anybody. Um, Anyway, if I am, uh, it's, um, it's a momentary blank, Gail, if I, I don't know if I said Gail, but um, yeah, for, for holding this space uh, over the summer, such uh, generosity and commitment and uh, gratitude to you for, um, for continuing to, to, uh, to be in this, uh, to, to show up and however you did, uh, whenever it was nourishing and for yourself and for others. Um, I want to, uh, I want to say uh, just a, a couple of announcements because sometimes toward the end of the practice, uh, there are uh, people are leaving and, uh, and it may not, it may not um, uh, reach everybody, but uh, there, there are a couple of things that are that are coming up um, down the road. On September 18th, um, during this time, we're going to be gathering live in uh, Jerry Park. Uh, it's going to it's um, it's not just for the Sunday sangha. It's a whole uh, TNI Montreal sangha, and and. Um, we decided to have it at the time of the Sunday Sangha. Um, I mean, just in a very simple way because the suggestion and request came from me, but also because it's a Sunday, you know, and, and 
probably more people could come than maybe on a on a Tuesday evening and it's getting dark, so uh, which is the time of the French francophone sign. And so um, so but we're hoping that uh, we're hoping for good weather, first of all. Um, and uh, and we're hoping that uh, a lot of people will come from uh, from you know this local Montreal sign and you know the extended Montreal sign. And of course, if you want to come from Ottawa, <laughs> please, please do or get to know or anything that's driving distance. So yeah, we'll be going from 1030. Uh, we'll have a, we'll have a practice. Uh, and it will be, um, we'll, there'll be some in English, some in French, and, and then we'll just have, I, people will be invited to bring food and, um, you know, not not doing a shared potluck because of COVID, but um, but uh, bring some food for yourself, and then sometimes people find ways to bring food that can be shared as well without you know being handled um, too much. So uh, so keeping it safe, um, and uh, and so that will you know be from noon to however people however long people want to stay. Um, so uh, if you'd like to get involved in it at all, then um, you could uh, maybe let Bibiana know at, um, at uh, info at truenorthinside.org. I think um, she might need some volunteers to help. So that's on September 18th. Uh, then um, on beginning in October, on the first Sunday in October, and, and going through uh, until the spring, um, at least, it, and, and we'll evaluate it after that, we're going to be changing the time of the Sunday Sina. So, um, so I uh, I hope that this is workable for you. But um, you know, as the primary teacher, I needed to um, kind of make this call. I I'm going to be taking uh, beginning a course, uh, an online course on um, Mindful, um, my, mindful, mindfulness informed end of life care through the University of Toronto um, continuing studies. It's a certificate program. And the timing of it is uh, at um, two weekend mornings uh, a month for most months between October and June. And uh, so it, like, it goes like nine to 12, Saturday, Sunday on two consecutive weekends. So, um, so, I, so, the, so the sittings are going to go from one to 2.30. And, and that will be uh, the live in-person sittings and, um, and also online. And so uh, they will be, we're, go, we're trying to, um, I'm trying to continue offering the, uh, the sittings in person and online uh, hybrid, the hybrid form that I was doing up until the end of June um, at Espace B, which is in um, NDG. And, uh, and so we're not going to be reintroducing the reservation in advance. So you can just, it's a drop in, show up. So you'll be able to drop in and, uh, you know, and, and participate in person or come online um, just by, you know, joining the Zoom meeting as, as we're doing right now. So um, maybe activity, um, non, non judging, um, 
not not knowing uh, in the sense of not knowing, uh, not, not grasping at a particular uh, story around what this is, but simply staying with the allowing of the unfolding of how life is and the circumstances and conditions are in my life. Um, and um, I came across uh, a, a, a short practice by Kimberly Brown, um, and uh, which I, she, she used as a guided meditation. And, uh, and her iteration was, um, may, uh, it, I, I'm not promising that I have it exactly 100% uh, correct, but the, 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 the gist of it is, may I, may I be undisturbed by what I cannot change and may I act with wisdom and kindness toward myself and others. And, um, and that reminded me of the serenity prayer. Um, it's, uh, which is a, a theistic expression. You know, it's, it's stating, you know, grant me the serenity to accept what I cannot change, to, uh, to, uh, to change what I can, the courage to change what I can and the wisdom to, to, to know the difference. And um, uh, which, is a, which is a beautiful and deep and profound um, uh, orientation of the heart to call to mind again and again. And I, I sat with um, Kimberly's, Kimberly Brown's expression and it didn't exactly land in my heart. Um, it's just, you know, uh, the language is just, uh, um, it just didn't land for me. It may land for you and, and so please, uh, feel free to, to work with that. But um, I found myself drawn toward the Zen peacemaker model of, um, of not knowing uh, uh, how we are in our lives, to not know, to not think we know uh, what this story is, what this, uh, you know, how this should be, uh, to respond with compassion and um, uh, uh, to, to be with not knowing, um, to have an open heart and to, to respond with compassion to, um, and so, um, so I, I kind of phrased uh, a, a guided meditation a little bit more in, in, that, in that ilk, but if you wanna modify the words for yourself, please do. Um, so I'm just going to uh, kind of begin and, and offer this a few times and, um, and then we'll, we'll move into silence. So, so as we begin, um, let's uh, be present in the body, um, arrive with kindness in this body However, the body is, uh, is feeling uh, and being aware, bringing awareness to how is this body alive in this moment? What is the energy? What is the quality of the body? Does it feel tired? Does it feel at peace? Is there joy? Is there a heaviness, a sorrow? Whatever is present, bringing interest and kindness to how we are right now. And 
And with the posture, a helpful way to be receptive and attentive is to bring the posture into a sense of balance and ease and uprightness, or if you're lying down, alignment with the spine. So letting the body rest with balance. If you're sitting in a chair or if you're sitting on a cushion, Shoulders relaxed, face relaxed. Gathering the attention around the breath. Feeling the whole body breathing. You might gather your attention in a particular place to feel the sensation of breath in the nostrils or the chest or the belly. If that is helpful. And as the mind begins to settle, I invite you to widen out your attention to feeling the whole body, aware that the breath is each breath, each inhalation, breathing in, not just oxygen and the other gases of the air, but breathing in life. That's what anapana, which means in breath and out breath, anapana means breathing in and out the prana, the life energy. in the whole being, the whole body-mind system. Inviting the body and mind to let go of tension, of holding, And so a form of this, uh, this invitation to ourselves 
to be with those conditions in our lives that are challenging, that we may be struggling with. It's a phrase that I'll suggest. May my heart be open and non-reactive to what I cannot change. May I act with wisdom and kindness toward myself and others. May I be open and non-reactive to what I cannot change. May I act with wisdom and kindness toward myself and all beings. May my heart be open and non-reactive with what I cannot change. May I respond with wisdom and kindness toward myself and others. If something is coming into mind, some, something that's present in your life, in a relationship or a situation that there feels that there's a struggle around, that there's a, a sense of grasping. It should be like this, it shouldn't be like that. Just uh, allowing that to just be felt in the body. That whole story, that whole issue. And, and then just inviting that intention. May I stay open and at peace or stay open and non-reactive with what I cannot change. May I respond with wisdom and compassion, wisdom and kindness toward myself and others. Maybe something that's in your life, personally. It may be conditions or circumstances in the world around you that cause you, that, you know, in which grief or anger arises. May I rest open and non-reactive <clears throat> with what I cannot change. May I act 
with wisdom and kindness toward myself and all beings. May my heart remain open and at peace with what I cannot change. May I act with wisdom and kindness toward myself and others. May my heart remain open and non-reactive toward what I cannot change. May I act with kindness and wisdom toward myself and others all beings.
as we come to the end of the sitting, we can touch into whatever moments of peace, of clarity, of openness that manifested in our heart mind being during this time that we've been together. And, and recognize the blessing of that, the goodness of that, honoring the goodness of that. And, and we can, in honoring, in recognizing, in affirming, acknowledging that, that, that these moments of, of virtue, of wisdom, of openness, of non-reactivity arise within our being. We are building where we're focusing our attention and what we focus our attention on is what we're developing in the mind. That's, that's how we develop the mind in meditation practice. We notice and we affirm uh, the, the goodness that arises within the heart, mind, being. And, and so, and so we can also say, this is a gift, and I want to share this gift with the life around me. I want to share this gift with those who need blessing, those who need peace, those who need non-reactivity. And so, so let's dedicate the blessing, the merit of our practice to those we know and those we don't know who need this blessing, who are perhaps in some way struggling or in pain. May the merit of our practice and of our lives, the goodness of all of our lives, the moments of generosity, the moments of kindness, the moments of appreciation, May the, the, the beauty, the goodness, the blessing of our lives and our practice serve and support the happiness, well-being, and liberation of all beings. So um, 